Good morning. So great to be back here in the city where I was born and raised. You know, th- this is a, a difficult economy, for sure. People are worried about being laid off or they're free agents trying to figure out, you know, what's next. For those, however, over 40, I think it's a perfect time during this crisis to really stand back and reflect and think about some other questions. You know, before 40, a job, I think, is useful. I think you might agree, right? It builds self-esteem, gives us a sense of self. You know, we go to a party and someone says, well, Craig, what do you do? And I say, I'm an accountant. And we feel good about ourselves. But after 40, and hear me closely, the concept of a job is no longer useful. You know, in the Renaissance period, a job was called a gob. You, You did something for someone and they gave you something back, maybe a piece of bread. In, in some ways, I think that's why the, the world of work has gotten such a bad rap based on our history. But job, a job is just an exchange of money for service. And a career is the same, except with a fancy title. And this is the way the equation works for the math experts in the audience. Job equals career equals retirement equals death. Statistically, more for men than women, a large percentage of people die within 10 years after they retire after, at 60. Now, you might say, well, that's 60. But, you know, if you haven't checked lately, we're living a lot longer. If this was 1900, most of us wouldn't be here. The average lifespan in 1900 is 42, 43 years of age. But now it's, if we take care of ourselves, it's, you know, we live into our, well into our 80s. So the, so the, the question of just... Retiring is no, no longer a useful, well, no longer a useful concept. So I, I think it's important to have vocation. And before I get into that, I, I want to say a few things. A- after 40, then, it's important to put aside ego. You've built your ego. You've, by now, you've worked 15, 20 years. You've satisfied society, your family, God forbid, your mother-in-law. Now is the time for you to be a little selfish. And ask the question. You know, when it comes to work, there's three things that happen with regards to work. The first is something we all have, which is objectives. We have stuff we got to do. But what's more important after 40 is to think about and ask yourself the question, is this work that I want to do significant to me? Not significant because it's in the job description or someone's expecting me to do it, but is this work significant? And, And next, is it coherent? It's a very important question to ask yourself after 40. Is it clear why I'm doing this work? You know, I have a sense of urgency about my work. It's clear why I'm up here on the stage this morning. So when you think about your work, I want you to think about significance and coherence. The most important question you could ask after 40 is what work must, must emerge through me? And that's very different than looking for a job. I'm going to talk to you this morning and give you some ideas to, gi- to give you a chance to sort of s- create and think about how to create more joy, fulfillment, love, passion in your work by the time you leave this morning. How does that sound? Good. 